Hyderabad witnessed 200 mm of excess rainfall, 263 mm of rain in Indore. Odisha receives 58.5 mm of average rainfall. In last 24 hours, Yangts could see as much as 400 mm of rainfall. Whenever I come across such news, I always wonder what does this millimeter of rainfall actually mean. I knew that more millimeter means more rainfall, but not in precise numeric values. So, I thought to educate myself through YouTube, but, as it turns out, there is not a single video clip which can actually define it clearly, and there were many people like me. We don't generally make such videos, but, let's talk about the real meaning of millimeter of a rainfall, and, where it rains the most in the world, or what are the wettest place on earth, and also about a mystical place where it never stops raining, in this new episode, of Stats to Analyze. If we take a square box of one square meter, and pour water in it, up to the height of one millimeter, then the amount of water, accumulated in the box, will be equivalent to one millimeter of rain. If we fill that box to a height of 58.8 millimeters, then, it represents the rainfall, of 58.5 millimeters. So, in clear words, the height of water, in one square meter of box, is the reading of the rainfall. But, why millimeter, and, what does that millimeter actually mean? That millimeter represents liter, the one millimeter height of water, represents one liter of water. And to clarify it more clearly, if it rains one millimeter in one square kilometer of area, then it is one million liters of rain water. If it rains one millimeter in one acre of area, then it will be somewhere near 4046.86 liters of water and for 2 mm of rainfall in one acre of land, approximately 8094 liter of water will accumulate. Hope, that answers the question. Now, moving forward, let's have a look at the bar's race to get clear picture of those places, where it never stops raining. First thing first, let me clarify the axis. The very left side of the screen represents the flag of the country, the name of the village, city, or that place is written inside the bar, the color coding is done as per the country of that place, and the name of the country is written just below the header. All the data is in millimeter, per year, and the corresponding year is written in the southeast corner of the screen. This may be noted that the various sources give various information, but we have tried our best, to feed you the finest and as accurate information as we can. We have considered BBC Earth, World Atlas, Escape.com, MSN, Wonderground.com, CEOWorld.biz, and National Weather Records, given by the corresponding countries as a reliable source. And, if we haven't included a place in our bar's race, then maybe that place is controversial, or the statistics of that place is not available from a reliable source. Now, as we move towards the end of bar's race, the place where it rains the most, or, the wettest place on earth, as per the average of annual rainfall of 50 year, starting from 1970, to 2020, are Morsan Ram, Shirapunji, and, Tutunendo. Now, let's talk about that mystical place, where it never stops raining. Morsan Ram, a huge village in the Meghalaya, a eastern state of India. The Meghalaya literally means the home of clouds. Not only because of more sun ram, but because it never stops raining there. In fact, the second most wettest place on earth, Chirapunji, is also in Meghalaya. Fun fact, both the places are just 15 kilometers apart. More Sun Ram is not only famous for being the wettest place, it is also famous for having these wonderful live bridges. Due to excessive rainfall, no other bridge could sustain here, so the locals trained the routes in such a way that they can be used as bridges. Modern problems require modern solution. On average, it rains about 12,000 millimeters there, but, 
In the year 1985, it rained 26,000 mm, which means 26,000 liters of water per square meter. The thing which is astonishing, is that, more Sun Ram is not some small village, it is four times the area of New York, almost twice the size of London, 25 times the size of Paris, and, four times the size of Prague. And just due to enormous size, and huge millimeter reading, the total water which falls on more Sun Ram, is somewhere around 72 trillion and 488 billion liters. If we fill all that water, in Olympic-sized swimming pools, then it will take approximately 28,995,200 swimming pools every year. Or in more practical sense, it can support the water requirements for entire populations, such as Central African Republic, Luxembourg, Lesotho, and Djibouti. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more.